The Austin Company, pioneer designers and builders of television stations, takes you behind the scenes in this series of telecasts to see how television ticks. Haven't you wondered sometimes how television takes your eyes and ears to distant points? Wondered how a television camera takes pictures? Well, the Austin Company invites you to come in and see. On the television camera rests the initial burden of producing pictures for your receiver screen. There is no moving film, no click of a shutter. But in the work a television camera does, it differs little from a motion picture camera. It operates under the bright lights of the soundproof air-conditioned studio, where drama, variety shows, musical programs begin their split-second trip through space. Like the simplest box camera, the television camera has a viewing mechanism, so the cameraman can see what he is taking. Also, there's a lens system for obtaining sharp focus and for selecting close-up, long, and wide-angle views. For easy mobility, the camera is mounted on wheels. It may be tilted, raised and lowered, and pivoted from right to left. But the camera is forever connected to the studio control room by a heavy cable, which carries the picture as well as power and communication lines. Back of the lens of a television camera, the resemblance to any other camera stops. There is a light-sensitive plate, but it is part of an ingenious electronic tube that breaks down the picture into millions of electric charges. Two types of pickup tubes are widely used today, the iconoscope and the image orthicon. This is the iconoscope, shaped somewhat like a dipper. And this is the image orthicon, which has made television possible from dim interiors and outdoors on cloudy days. The surface of the image orthicon is covered with millions of light-sensitive particles, which give off tiny electronic charges when struck by light. These electrons are carried back to a thin plate of mica known as the target. As the amount of light falling on the individual particles varies, the amount of electricity it generates varies. Here, for example, the Austin Company trademark is focused on the light-sensitive glass. In reality, this image would be inverted within the tube. At the other end of the tube is an electron gun that fires a fine stream of electrical energy across the target much as you might turn the garden hose in your garage to clear away the winter smudge from left to right and from top to bottom. If you could slow down the operation of the tube, the target might look like this as the electron beam clears the picture point by point, line for line. But actually, the beam moves at the unbelievable speed of more than 500 lines 30 times every second. So the electrical charges, some strong and some weak, are drawn from the target single file combined with sound, and sent through the control room. Checked here for quality, they move on by cable or radio relay to the transmitter and from the towering antenna to the television receiver. On the kinescope, the receiving tube within the receiver, the whole process which takes place in the camera pickup tube occurs in reverse. In the neck of the tube is an electron gun which receives the electrical charges in single file. It beams the charges of varying strength on the fluorescent screen and each charge appears to the viewer as a spot of light. The kinescope beam scans left to right simultaneously with the beam in the television camera. It has been figured that on an 8 by 10 viewing screen, the beam would move across the screen at more than 10,000 miles per hour. At this tremendous speed, the human eye sees only a continuous picture. The Austin Company trademark, symbolizing the Austin method, becomes a living image on the television screen and quickly fades to a view of the Austin headquarters in Cleveland, Ohio. Austin engineers design buildings for every type of industrial operation. From a combination television newspaper building to a chemical plant, from a food processing plant to a pulp mill, from a textile mill to a research center. Austin designs are thoroughly modern in appearance and in the smallest hidden detail of construction. And control conditions, light, temperature, humidity, and sound provide efficient operating and working conditions in these completed Austin projects. With offices from coast to coast, the Austin Company builds small buildings and large for all the great industries that make America great.